Welcome to this video, great to have you on board. My name is Max and in this video I want to get started implementing this project or creating the project we sketched out and we planned in the last video of this playlist. So in this video we're going to set our project up, we're going to dive into Beautify, a third party package we're going to use to get some nicely styled and working view components we can readily use. And we'll see how we take it from there and how we can actually get started building the application we planned. So let's dive into that. Let's dive into it by visiting beautifyjs.com. Now, Beautify is a package which implements the material design for Vue.js. So we get a nicely styled application easily. If we click on get started, we quickly see it's more than just a couple of CSS styles though. Actually, Beautify ships with tons of view components we can use just like that, like these alerts or these buttons here, which don't just have this material design look and effect like the ripple effect, but also a ton of other useful features. We can quickly create awesome and beautiful applications with components by Beautify. Now, there are other packages too. There are packages which implement the bootstrap style and functionality with Vue. And on the other hand, the material implementation like it exists for Vue also exists for React.js, for example, with material UI there or with Angular material for Angular too. We're of course building a Vue app, so let's stick to Beautify. Beautify still is under active development, so things might change by the point of time you use it, but in general, it should work the same. You should have the same components at your disposal, probably a bit more or a bit more polished than at the state we have it here, but it works really great, I can tell you that. So to get started, what we can do is we can go back to Beautify and click on the quick start guide here at the top. And there we see how we can implement Beautify into our project. But we don't have a project yet, which gives us an especially easy way of getting started. But if you do have one, you also find detailed instructions here how to add Beautify to your project. It's really simple. As I just mentioned, even simpler if we don't have one yet, because then we can just use the Vue CLI and some nice templates provided by the Beautify team with which we can get started really fast. Here we see all these templates. We got one for a very simple HTML setup, a simple Webpack setup, the more advanced Webpack setup, even a setup which uses server-side rendering, and one which uses Next.js, another framework which also uses server-side rendering, which as a side note, I'll also have a look at on this channel soon. Let's go back to Webpack Advanced for this setup here. I wanna build a single page application. I don't wanna render it on the server. Of course, you could use that too if you want that functionality. Probably worth diving into server-side rendering before doing so though. You could just pick the Webpack simple one too. I'll, as I just mentioned, go with the Webpack advanced one. And then we see the command we need to run down here. So let's run it. For that, I opened up the terminal here, navigated into the folder where I want to create the project, and then it's view init to use the view CLI. And for that, you obviously need the view CLI. Now I do have a video where I do explain how to set it up. Here's the quick wrap up or refresher on that. To use the view CLI, you can, well, simply search for view CLI. It's that simple. And you'll find this GitHub page with detailed instructions. Simply install it through NPM, for which in turn you need Node, but you're going to need this anyways for our project setup because that will use Node 2 to spin and sort of load our development server and so on. And we'll use NPM to manage our dependencies anyways. So install Node.js, as you see, 6.x preferred, you can also install the latest version, that should work too. Then run this command to install the CLI, and thereafter, you're back to this command and the one we're going to execute together here. So then it's Beautify.js. Here it's Webpack-Advanced, as you could see on the Beautify page. And now you can add another argument which def uh, defines the name of the folder you're going to create your project name. And I'll name this YT for YouTube, dev meetup and then dash view maybe but of course you can choose any name you like here with that let's hit enter and this will now download the template and now we're 
queried or to we are asked to, des uh, to decide upon a project name, I'll use the one it proposes. We can add a description. Um, I'll name it a dev meetup application built with Vue plus Beautify plus Firebase. But of course, here again, you can choose any description you want. Now you can add your, your offer ID or your offer um, details. I'll leave the defaults ones. And now we can choose which kind of view setup we want to use. Now, what are the two options here? Runtime and compiler and runtime only. What's the difference? Vue.js needs a compiler to compile the view templates. So whenever you write something in Vue, some presentation logic, you're not actually writing HTML code there, even though it might look like this, or you do during development, but actually in the end Vue will take this HTML code as a template and not render it to the DOM and then check the DOM because, because that would be slow. Vue uses a virtual DOM to check how the template would look like, how the HTML code would look like, depending on the current values of all your data, your properties and so on. And then it only renders the differences to the actual DOM, to access the actual DOM as little as required. Now, of course, for that, it needs to understand your templates, right? It needs to understand your HTML code. And that is what the view compiler does. It compiles your template code, your HTML code, to JavaScript because working with JavaScript is much faster and that is what Vue does. Now you get two places where it can do the compilation. It can compile right during development because if you wrote your template code, there's actually no reason to stop Vue from going ahead and compiling your code to JavaScript so that it has the right code to work with right from the start. You could, however, also ship the uncompiled code to the browser, to the actual end user, and do the compilation in the browser. This, of course, is a bit slower because the compilation happens once the app has been loaded or right before it has been loaded, actually, but it happens in the browser of your actual user. You might still choose this option if you're deploying your application not as a single page application, but maybe as part of a full stack, a multi-page application where you use view on the individual views rendered by the backend, so through a view rendering engine like Blade for Laravel, and where then view needs to step in after the view has been rendered dynamically by that engine and replace parts of it, then it really can only render the template uh, on runtime. That's the difference. I hope this was clear. I'm going to choose runtime only because I don't want to ship the compiler to the user because we are building a single page application here and I don't have any reason to do the compilation in the U browser of the user. So that is why well. I'll choose runtime only. So that was a lot of talking about that. We actually save some performance here or improve our performance and save some space of, or some, yeah, reduce the size of our bundle. So now we can decide if we want to install the view router. If we choose no, we can still do it afterwards manually, but I'll choose Y for yes to do that. We can decide if you want to lint our code automatically with ESLint. Now that's your decision. I'll choose Y for yes. We can then choose which ESLint uh, rules we want to set up. We can configure it ourselves, choose the Airbnb ones or follow the uh, JavaScript standard style. I'll do the first one. A major difference when following this style is that you don't actually put semicolons at the end of your rows. You're not forced to do so by JavaScript. And then following this code style, you actually are not allowed to do so by the linting package, not by JavaScript. It is the style I'll go, I'm going to use here, but of course, feel free to pick a different one. You can now also configure unit tests or integration tests. I won't do this here, might add them later, but for now, let me go with this approach. I'll rather do a dedicated testing tutorial if I want to do that instead of adding it here. And with that, the project folder is created and we can navigate into this newly created folder. Now in there, we need to run npm install to install all the dependencies because that hasn't been done yet. Once this has been done, we're ready to start the development server with the npm run dev command and see our dummy application Beautify actually gives us here. So I'll be back once this is finished. It did finish here. So now I can run npm run dev to spin up that development server and view our actual application in the browser. So let's have a look at it. We can see it at localhost 8080 and it should actually open up a tab automatically. 
here it is. That is how our application looks right at the start. It already uses quite a lot of Viewdefy features and components, like the sidebar we already, uh, already have here, and this, these different drawers, which allow us to do, to do stuff, and side draw here. So a lot of stuff we can do. We're going to get rid of that, but we're going to use a lot of these components in our actual app, of course, in a way that makes more sense, I guess. This is the starting setup. Now, before we start working on it, of course, we need to open it in our IDE, our editor. You're free to choose any IDE or editor you want. I'll stick to WebStorm, which I, well, really like to use. So let me quickly open it there. And here it is. So this is the project which was created by the Vue CLI using that Viewtify template for us. It's actually the same structure a normal Vue Webpack um, setup or um, yeah, project has. We have our source folder where we're going to work. There we have the assets folder where we can store static images and so on. We're going to work with dynamic ones though, which we actually store on a server and fetch from there. We have our components folder where we will add our components of the application. The router folder where we have this index.js file where we can basically configure our routing. The stylus folder here, the main.style file, that is required by Beautify. Stylus is a CSS preprocessor like SAS. You don't have to use it, no worries. You can write normal CSS code in this whole project and I will actually write normal CSS code. But we can use this main.stylus file to change the theme of our material design application created by Beautify. And that is the one thing we'll also do. So that is something we'll, we'll have a look at, but that's all. Then we have the app.view file, which holds our application. Quite a lot of components, as I mentioned, shipping with the default template. That was all created by the Beautify template here. We're going to get rid of it, but of course we're going to use some of these features in our actual application thereafter. Main.js file is starting our application, is importing Beautify here, as you can see. So it's a real package, not just some CSS styles, as I mentioned. The static folder would be the place to store some really static files. So the assets folder, these get still pre-processed or get still processed by Webpack, optimized, for example. In the static folder, you really have files which get never touched. And a link to the full documentation for this template can also be for this template uh, we're using here, this project setup can also be found in the video description. Config, here we can configure our uh, workflow, our um, build process, basically. That's advanced, we won't touch it here. I wanna focus on the source folder for the majority of that course. And with that, I'd say we have a nice looking setup. We create our project, we have Beautify added to it. Why don't we have a look at creating a basic structure and giving it some basic styling for our application in the next video.